Hello everyone, today I'm going to share with you another completely open source and free ebook reader app. Its biggest advantage is that uh, it's totally free with no ads and it even supports AI reading your ebooks aloud when your phone screen is off. This AI reading feature is completely free as well. It's especially useful when you are exercising or jogging. You can listen to books while you move. You can also use it before bedtime as a sleep aid. Just pick a book you don't like, let the AI read it to you, and you will probably fall asleep in no time. It supports all common ebook formats, so as long as you download ebooks to your phone, you can start reading immediately for free. Or if you prefer, you can use Notepad on your Windows 10 computer to create your own text file. Just copy and paste any text, save it as a .txt file, and transfer it to your phone. The app can then read it aloud to you using AI voice. It's really convenient and practical. Alright, let's check it out on my phone right now. Let's go! Okay, now welcome to my phone. Yeah, this app supports Android phone and uh, the iPhone. Yeah, I both uh, the phone are already installed. It is uh, app free, open source, readist app. Reading the uh, ebook. Yeah, you can have a look. We can have a look. Um, the readist. I click it. I prefer the function is it can using the AI to read your book aloud, and then you can screen off your phone. And when you are jogging or you are running, you can listen to your book ebook for free. It's open source. For example. I click this uh, book, this open this book, and uh, I just click it in the middle, click it, and you will see here, headphone, yeah, this headphone icon, click the headphone icon, it will read aloud for you. It, it will need to several seconds to do the buffer, and you can choose to change this uh, voice here. I already say selected the voice of... Uh, Between uh, the hounds and the horses and the twins, there was a kinship deeper than that of their Yeah, it can read image. aloud. They were all healthy. I, I already selected the Andrew. Yeah, Andrew. I using the Andrew. You can um, choose different born languages. To the ease yeah. Of plantation yeah. Life. It's cool. On hand it can read aloud. Since infancy, the faces of the three you can on the porch change the uh, voice, soft. different voice, the and, and you can uh, and change this the, uh, the speed. Yeah. So I just it pause, and you can change the speed. If you make it faster or slower. You can change the uh, voice speed. Yeah, it's cool, and uh, yeah. It can read you aloud and uh, keep and reading and switch off. Yeah. You can switch off the screen and uh, when you are jogging. Yeah, it's cool. I like this function very much when you, you can listen money, to the uh, uh, your book, your e-book, just, uh, just uh, when you are log jogging. jogging. Yeah. And uh, I click it and close it. Yes, it's cool, right? And uh, yeah, I will check, I will show you step by step how to uh, install this uh, app from the open source web page and how to transfer, I mean transfer the file from the PC to your mobile phone and using this readist um, app to read your ebook. Okay, let's go to, uh, I will delete it, unstore it, unstore, and I will open the Chrome, yeah, Chrome browser and open this official website. Yeah, this is a GitHub open source um, reader, yeah, GitHub. Let's have a look at this uh, introduction. Go down and read it. Yeah, the name is read it. And go down, you can, it supports like uh, EPUB. Yeah, support EPUB, MOBI, KF8, AZW3, FB2, CBZ, TXT, yeah, TXT PDF. So you can use your um, Windows 10 or Windows 11's uh, to, and create a, a TXT file with your own material, with your own book. And you can copy and paste these uh, words into your TXT file and create your own ebook. It's very easy to do that. Okay, let's go down, go down, go down, and uh, we can download the latest version here. Yeah, go down the paper page and the read this, click the latest. Yeah, we do the latest. It was updated two weeks ago. Click the latest and uh, go to the download page. Here, let's go to the latest version. It supports different platforms. Yeah, it supports like uh, Windows, um, Mac. Linux, yeah, it's a lot of uh, a version of this app. For the Android phone, I recommend you using this one, .apk, yeah, .apk, it supports your phone. And uh, if you are modern phone, your phone is new, you can use this one more arm 
64. If your phone is very old, I just recommend using this one, Universal. Universal one, one this is a bigger, 98 megabyte. And but this one is smaller, APK, yeah, ARM um, 64 APK 32 dot. Four. Yeah, uh, because my my phone is Xiaomi 10, and then I will use this one. This one is smaller than that one. Universal. Yeah, this universal one is bigger, but it supports older phones. Yeah, older phone support. Okay, I click this one. Um, 64 .apk to download this uh, APK file. Yeah, I download again. I because I already downloaded this file several several times. Yeah, for 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 the demo. Okay, just uh, wait for several seconds and finish the downloading, and we can in and install this app immediately. Yeah, finished this file download. Finished and click open, and uh, click allow to allow install yeah, and click install yeah install this uh, application finished let's go back to our desktop yeah here it's a readist already here we click the readist yeah already um if instead uh, import the phones from this library then how to input phone we can use in our pc just connect with our pc to um transfer the your ebook download the ebook from your um from website from the uh, internet and uh, transfer it to your mobile phone okay Okay, now welcome to my PC. Next step, we just connect our phone with uh, our PC. Connected the phone with our PC and uh, file transfer. Select the file transfer. Yeah, when we will see my Xiaomi phone is here. Xiaomi 10 is already here. Then we go to the Xiaomi 10 and go to the internal storage and go to the download folder already. I think you already have the download folder. Okay, download the folder and you can create a new folder like here, create a new folder. The name should be books. Yeah, because I already created this book, that uh, folder. You can create it by yourself. Just click new folder and double click and you can see I already put several files here. You can just drag for example, if you already downloaded this EPUB, yeah, here you can see this is an EPUB file. So you just copy and paste and, and drag and drop here. Copy and paste. Yeah, for me, I already uh, replaced it. And here, this is another one. You can create your own file. For example, I just create uh, your new text file. Yeah, you can just uh, like uh, use ebook. And uh, you can copy some words from other, for example, from news, from web page, from anything else. You just copy these uh, sentences here and copy and go to here, ebook and paste. Yeah, you can create your own ebooks here. It's very easy. And uh, click close and you can put this ebook here. Just copy here and it copy and re replace ebooks. Yeah, here is ebooks is already here. And then you can use your phone to um, import those uh, phone from these uh, folders. Yeah, I just uh, already put these uh, files, three files here, and uh, just uh, unplug the file. And uh, you can uh, just click this uh, this one. Yeah, this one uh, import ebooks, and you can see the books file. And you can select download the folder and uh, go to the uh, books here. This is the, the uh, books. Click the books, and uh, you can uh, import the file like uh, this one. Input the file, yeah. Then the file imported, and then click that file. Then you can read, yeah, one by one. Read the read the uh, ebooks one by one, and one page by one page, and click this uh, headphone button to make the uh, AI read it. Before it reading, it need, needs some time to do the buffer, yeah. So you need to be need, need to be patient. After it finished the buffer, you will see the you will hear this uh, uh, voice read this uh, um, books aloud. Yeah, just be patient. Maybe it costs like several several seconds. Yeah, several seconds, like uh, thirty seconds. It will finish the buffer. Between the hounds and the horses and yeah, the twins, cool. there was a kinship deeper than that of their constant companionship. Okay, it's cool, right? So then uh, let's go back and uh, go back to the uh, iPhone. Okay, let's move to the iPhone. Yeah, this Redis, I already installed it from the uh, App Store. You just uh, search the Redis, R E A D E S T, the Redis. Yeah, you can see the Redis, the iPhone, and you can just click it and install this uh, Redis ebook. But for the iPhone, how can you? I mean, import your file. You just click. You just click this. Uh, you just click import books. Click import books, and uh, here, click this button here. It's left button here. Click left button, and you can import from iCloud here. Click iCloud here. I already uploaded several files from to the iCloud. How to upload your iCloud? I will show you here. 
Yeah, we can uh, open the iCloud, the official website, iCloud. I will put, put, put the web link down below the, for the, uh, for you to click the iCloud um, official website and click sign in. Just log in to your iCloud. Then you just uh, upload your file uh, into iCloud. Then key in your iCloud Apple ID. Yeah, click in your Apple, uh, Apple account here. Then you just uh, click next, click the, the enter and key in your, uh, key in your password and key, key in uh, login. Yeah, you can see you are already logging to my logging to my iCloud, and then you can uh, click this uh, cloud button here. Yeah, click this cloud button, cloud button here. Then you can upload. For example, you can upload this uh, this one. You can upload this file or that file. Anything you you like. You can click open. Then already um, uploaded that uh, um, ebook file onto your iCloud. Then go back to your phone, and you can go back and click iCloud here. ICloud, you will find this. I just uh, click this uh, this one. iCloud this file. I just input this. Why click it open to input this uh, in, to uh, load this uh, EPUB file, ebook file from my, my uh, shared drive. Yeah, from my uh, Apple's uh, cloud, Apple cloud. And you can see here the file already here. Then you can click this one, open that one, and you can read one by one. And then click the screen, the middle of the screen, click middle of the screen and click this headphone. You can also read aloud using the AI to read aloud. And you need several seconds to do the buffer and choose a... I know you two don't care about being yeah. expelled. Or Tom either, she said. But what about Boyd? He's kind of set on getting an education. And you two have pulled him out of the off. University of Virginia and, and you can Alabama screen off. South Carolina. Yeah, it's cool, right? And now Georgia. It's also reading. Great. Yeah, it's cool, oh, right? You yeah, can read so, uh, and judge Parmley's office. So this is an uh, open source and totally free. You can use it, read it aloud when you're jogging. You can listen to your ebook. It's cool, right? If you like my sharing, don't forget to sum up. And see you next time. Bye bye.